The confrontation between the US and South Korea over the declaration of the end of the war has become more acute. On October 12, after concluding talks with the US side in Washington, a South Korean official said, We have explained in detail our concept of an end of war declaration, and we believe that the US understanding of our position has deepened. A week later, the ROK side said that the US and South Korea were in agreement that the declaration would be very useful as a starting point for dialogue with the North and the explanation was positive. However, according to the ROK Murdia, the mood of the US government as reported by government sources and East Asia-Pacific experts in Washington is different. We have somewhat different perspectives on the exact order, timing and conditions of each step, said Sullivan, an aide to US president, suggesting a gap between the US and South Korea. U.S. experts are more direct in their views. Former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State Evans Revere said, the U.S. position is that if North Korea sincerely begins the denuclearization process, we can consider it. Victor C.H.A., director of the Center for Strategic and International Studies, said, no one is against peace, but the reality of North Korea's continued development of weapons is far from peace. However, the Moon administration wants to declare the end of the war at all costs and improve relations with North Korea. For this reason, an independent national defense that does not rely on the U.S. military would be attractive. For Lee Jae-myung, the military buildup is against Japan. If the next administration of President Lee Jae-myung, an innovator, comes to power again, South Korea's military buildup will be aimed at Japan, and Japan will be forced to rethink how to deal with this. Mr. Lee Jae-myung has repeatedly warned of an invasion of the Korean peninsula by the far-right forces in Japan. For example, he has said the following. Japan is a military hostile nation, and we need to be wary of the far-right forces. We oppose GSOMIA, Japan-South Korea Comprehensive Military Information Agreement. If Japan becomes a military power, the first target of attack will be the Korean Peninsula. These are Lee Jae-myung's views on Japan. In a recent debate at the Press Club on November 10, he clearly stated that he is naturally opposed to a military alliance among Japan, the US and South Korea, and stressed his negative stance, saying, we have a military alliance with the US. But including Japan is a matter that should be carefully considered. He is an advocate of the following. Dokdo, the Korean name for Takashima, has historically been Korean territory, but Japan repeatedly raises the issue in order to use it as a trip wire for its future expansion into the continent. We must not let down our guard against Japan. In particular, it is even suspected that the purpose of possessing a light aircraft carrier is to use it against Japan. On November 8, the ROK Navy released a computer-generated video of a light aircraft carrier battle. In the video, an aircraft carrier battle group formed around a light aircraft carrier appears. The carrier battle group is said to be tasked with protecting maritime traffic routes and striking strategic targets in North Korea. Furthermore, some believe that in truth, the threat from the Chinese military is also in view, because the movement of Chinese warships is also conspicuous. However, the ROK has always been conscious of the defense of Takashima, Korean name Dokdo, and its naval buildup, including the light aircraft carrier, is probably partly with Japan in mind. If the Lee Jae-myung administration, which is hostile to Japan, comes to power, this could mean that it is aimed at Japan. Therefore, if Lee Jae-myung becomes president, his military expansion policy may target Japan. Japan will have to confront both North and South Korea, and Japan's defense concept will need to be re-examined. South Korea's military expansion in the name of independent defense means independence from the U.S. This means that it will be able to act more freely from the U.S. in its relations with North Korea. A more liberal South Korean support for North Korea would pose a greater threat to peace and stability in East Asia. Moreover, with the Lee Jae-myung administration in power, Japan-USROK cooperation will be weakened and South Korea will be more inclined to oppose Japan. With this in mind, 
Japan needs to proceed with the development and strengthening of its defense capabilities. So far, the insights of Mr. Mosatoshi Muto, former ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary to the Republic of Korea. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.